This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Bunker Hill Security Armored Bicycle Cable Lock. If you've never heard of Bunker Hill Security, that's the brand used for security products that are sold at Harbor Freight, so I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this. The little tag you see here is the only packaging that comes with it, and it has at least one glaring error on it. It claims to have a, quote, high security seven pin tubular lock. Now I can tell you there is no 7-pin tubular lock in here, or any kind of tubular lock. What it has is an 8-wafer lock, but the wafers are arranged in such a way that they interact with the inner groove on the key. That also makes them a bit harder to manipulate than normal wafers. But before we test that out, I wanted to note that there is at least one significant physical weakness in this product's overall construction. But I'm going to devote a future video to that. Today's all about picking into this non-destructively. So let's get started. We open up that dust cover and you can see the keyway. It's rather wide, so I'm using a very wide wiper insert. Okay, I think I have that in place. And I'm going to use a standard hook in 25 thousandths and insert it sideways and twist to manipulate each of the wafers. Now the wafers are arranged in four banks of two, one in each quadrant. I'm starting in the upper right. Got to click out of the first one, nothing on the second, moving down, nothing on the first or second, over to the bottom left, nothing on the first, Second is binding, got to click out of him, going to the top left, nothing on one or two. Back to the top right, nothing on one or two. Bottom right, nothing on one or two. Bottom left, click out of one. And nothing on two. And top left, nothing on one or two. Not sure exactly what's holding us up here. Back on the top right. Okay, little click at a number two. On the bottom right, nothing on one or two. Bottom left, nothing on one or two. And top left, nothing on one or two. I'm not sure what is going on right now. Let me just give these wafers a little bit of a rake with the end of my pick and you can see whatever was out of place that little raking motion brought it into alignment. So not too bad but certainly harder than your average wafer lock and unlike most wafer locks probably beyond the abilities of inexperienced pickers. Okay that's it for today but keep a lookout for a video in the near future where we take a close look at how this is built and where they went wrong. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.